creeps. I'm gonna try to do this ranking shit for Halloween. Least best to best versus uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. This movie gets a lot of hate. And I myself have it in the last spot, but I don't hate this movie. I do like it, but there are some nitpicks I don't like. Like people say, like the Hobo Myers. Always taking the mask off, having a giant hole in the mask. The Ghost Mom. and it Sounds like there's more negatives than positives, but I do like the movie. Just, I don't know. Next up. My old work's not so great, so I want to keep that just hidden back here. But next up is Halloween 3. Not because it's a bad film, but because it doesn't really go in the, how the Michael Myers series. But as a standalone, it's a badass movie, and I like watching it on October Halloween. And Michael Myers, as me and Casey Jones was saying, we were discussing has a cameo in this if you pay attention. There's a scene where he's on a TV walking down some stairs. Keep an eye out for that. Next is Rob Zombie's Halloween the remake. It's uh, in this spot because I don't particularly like remakes and wish people would stop remaking every classic movie there is. But once they're made and out there then sometimes I end up liking them. I do like the Halloween remake and like my favorite part is the childhood backstory. Some people don't like it, as I've seen in their uh, rankings. But that's like one of my favorite parts of this movie is the backstory. Little Mikey Myers, among other cool parts. It's a badass movie, but it belongs back this way in the ranking. Next is Halloween: The Curse of Michael Myers. Part 6, I believe. It's a good movie to an extent. It has Paul Rudd in it. I like Paul Rudd. It starts that uh, Thorn stuff. Well, it doesn't start it, I guess. It starts at Thorn 5. But never got in it too much with the dark guys and the suits and the shit and the tattoo and all that weird shit. I do like it, but. I like it right here. And I have producer's cut. Thanks to Columbus Dinner, who's now live from the grave TV. And I don't know which cut I like more specifically, but in this one, there's a scene I like more where there's blood coming out of the tree and a little girl saying, Mommy, it's raining, it's raining red. But she just says it in this one, in this one she's kind of dancing in it and singing it. And I like that more in this one because it's kind of morbid, just more morbid and cooler. Next. Halloween Resurrection. People don't like this one, I guess. I like it. The whole, uh... Yeah, supposed to be living in Myers' house and it's televised on the internet and this one boy who I don't see on the cover of or anywhere. He's watching from a party and uh, helping her escape Myers. Like he's on the stairs, he's coming down the hallway, uh, texting to her phone, I think, helping her escape. I like it. Also, the part at the very beginning, the people, the only part that people usually do like, I love in the hospital, but that one mental patient who's like a super serial killer fan of all of Meyer's biography and shit. And H2O. I love H2O. I know Andrew Bellina does too. He puts it in. Puts it in with the first two as a trilogy, which works fine. It's a badass movie. She faces Myers. Uh, 
I don't know what all to say. It's a badass movie. Next is Halloween 5. I don't know what all I want to say about 4 or 5 either, but I have 5 and then 4. Is there a, 4 is the return of Michael Myers from the series. Because after 1 and 2, it was part 3 where they was going to do the anthology. And all the fans were going nuts when Myers is back. Getting back. And, uh, so yeah, I always keep four or five together. I like them. You get the return of Myers, and you get your introduction to Jamie Lloyd, which is an old Forest cover. She's right there. Which is Danielle Harris. Who is awesome. She's the new age screen queen. She's in tons of horror movies. Okay, next I have Halloween 2. Which goes with Halloween 1. That's my 1 and 2 spot. Can't watch one without the other. They follow each other like all happen in the same night. This is, I think, the one everybody has. The DVD everybody usually has says more of the night he came home or something. Mine says the nightmare isn't over. So people don't like this good time DVD because they say it's bad quality picture or something, but I love this cover because the side binder is black. So it matches all the others from being black and the one everybody else has is red. So I don't have to worry about picture quality because I have them both in here. I got the other disc and I put them, put this in a two disc case. There's no problem there with the picture. So yeah, my number one spot is the classic Halloween. The original of any series can never be beat. I would say without the original, without part one, you can't have a part two or a part three. That's fine. Halloween works best. 